uh, for our next theorem, we show that if we the, take the point where the perpendicular from the foot of an altitude to the side of a triangle meet the perpendicular from the end of the base, if we take those two points, join them up, then the line joining them goes through the orthocenter. Uh, don't worry, uh, this will become clear as I draw it. So first of all, I'll draw my triangle. Now we're going to need the orthocenter, uh, which means we need all three altitudes here. So we're going to do that, uh, create an altitude. Uh, easy ways like this. Now let's give us a bit more room to play with. Um, now we're going to want the orthocenter, so we just pick two of those altitudes and dissect them. That's the orthocenter. Um, I'm going to do a couple of things uh, here. First, I'm going to uh, constrain the lengths of the sides. That just lets GX Web know what. Uh, to refer to when it's doing its symbolic analysis, um, and I've found that the the best way to constrain them and you, frequently is uh, uh, using side lengths. Um, now I'm going to de-emphasize these altitudes to my drawing can get uncluttered a little bit, so make them grey. Um, Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a point out here where we take, we make this line is going to be perpendicular um, to this, uh, this line perpendicular to the base. So that's how I'm defining my point H. I define another point, same way on the other side. This line is perpendicular to here. And this line is perpendicular to here. And now my theorem is that the line joining H and I are going to go through G. So let's draw that line. Again, for emphasis, let me make that purple. Uh, so my theorem is that G goes through HI. If I relax A, B, and C's numeric attachments, then I can uh, drag the drawing around, we can see that certainly that's believable. Uh, proof of the puddings in the algebra, uh, we can ask for the distance um, between G and H I. And find that is zero, proving uh, my theorem.